What's going on, guys? And welcome finally to Resident Evil Five. Mmm, so aggressive. I love it. So this is going to be my second attempt at making this video because the last video I actually made, but the audio kept cutting out, and that needed a lot of editing. Uh, it was it ended up being up like an hour. Um, because, uh, well, we're gonna be doing the, just, so we're gonna be doing the DLC. We're gonna be doing the Lost in Nightmares DLC, because that is the prequel before the main game. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing here today. Uh, I really hope it goes well. I hope the audio doesn't go out again, because, uh, <laughs> third, third time's the charm is not exactly something I want to do. Uh, because it's supposed to be uploaded today. Uh, so hopefully I'm... Hopefully I can even make this video shorter, because the last video was like an hour, like I said before. Uh, and I hopefully I can lower this like 50, 40 minutes. But the, but the reading, I did read a lot in the last video, so I will be rereading the same amount again. So hopefully it won't take too long. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Right, so not the main game yet. Not the main game yet. Alright, let's do this. Lost in Nightmares, here we go. There's also another DLC called Desperate Escape. I will be doing that too because again, it's it's integral to the story. So I'll be doing that too. I, th I don't know if I'll be doing that by myself or if I will be doing it co-op. And speaking of co-op, uh, I will be doing I will be doing co-op for this game. Not yet though. The first two videos will be by myself. The last video will be by myself. Uh, but I do maybe Desperate Escape. I still don't know if I want to do that. Uh, single player, or if I want to do that, just single, just two co-op or two player or what. Um, so I'm still figuring that out. I don't really know what I want to do for the last DLC yet, but um, I don't know. Just have to wait and see. Uh, but without further ado, let's go and get started. We're coming back to Resident Evil Five. See what Chris and Jill were up to. Um, I didn't beat this game on veteran or professional yet. On the PC, I didn't. On the PS4 or PS3, I did, but I didn't do it on the PC yet. Gotta do it for a trophy or a, a achievement or whatever. It's fine. And yes, I'm on a, I'm an achievement guy. Uh, okay, so this was another big question I had before I started, but uh, I kind of know what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Jill, of course. Um, the height and the weight. The weight. Uh, I don't know how much 185 centimeters is in height, like in inches, uh, and I don't know what 98 kilo kilograms is in uh, in uh, pounds. So maybe you guys can do the math. <laughs> but uh, but Chris in this game is, or Chris in this DLC, I should say, is 32, and Jill is 30. Wow. They're they're adults. They're they're young adults. Or if you can call 30. Some people don't consider 30 young. I consider 30 young. 50 is when I think you can, can consider old or 60. A few years ago, the BSAA received intel as to the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Jill and I were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. HQ, come in. We're at the target's location. Copy that, Chris. Move in and procure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. We're in. Let's move. So this is more or less where we left off uh, after Revelations, which is, which is why I wanted to play Revelations. So yeah. Okay, yeah. There's the different HUD, different controls. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Got, got a, we got a map, uh, which is nice, handy. Shoot that to test out test out our aiming. Got the little red laser like in Resident Evil 4. That's back. Uh, again, this game came out after four. Uh, the Revelations games they came out after six, I believe. So yeah, 
that the Revelations games are, they are, um, set in between, like, Revelations 1 set between 4 and 5, and Revelations 2 is set between, um, 5 and 6, but these control, but those games came after, uh, 5 and 6, I believe. I don't know if it came out, yeah, I believe it came out, uh, after 6, I think it did. I, yes, I know it did, I know it did. Feel free to feel free to fact check me in the comments. But uh, but yeah, man. Very excited to be starting this. I mean, this is kind of the one. This is honestly the one I've been waiting for because I I do like five. There's some there's admittedly some bullshit uh things in five like with the enemies and stuff. But uh, I still like the game. Is it my favorite Resident Evil game? I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Eagle 5 to Nest. Come in. Go ahead, Eagle 5. We've encountered some corpses, possibly Spencer's bodyguards. From what I can see, they appear to have been killed by unconventional means. Roger that. We knew this mission wouldn't be a cakewalk. Use extreme caution. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be... S <laughs> okay, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, teamwork stuff. Ah, uh, we got the opening doors, like, uh, the first game. Yeah, so this game feels a lot like Resident Evil 1, because of the mansion. Because we're in the mansion, guys. Uh, this isn't the same mansion, though, I don't believe. I believe this, I, yeah, this is a different mansion, pretty sure. Um, so, some of the, so, so it's kind of funny, I was, uh... I, I did. Pl I've been playing this DLC uh, by myself uh, on the PS3 and by myself recently. Cause, cause, like I said last time, I did. Uh, I did try to record this uh, last time. It didn't work out. So this is my second recording of this. Um, and I, w I, I said in that video that I don't think. Kind of takes you back, doesn't it? Raccoon City. Unfortunately, yeah. That's where all this started. Hard to believe that was eight years ago. Yes, I am getting older. You're not the only one. So yeah, I did say in that video that um, I said in the video that that I I didn't know if things were randomized like guns and stuff because I got like a little machine gun here now. Um, it, with Jill, I think it depends on your difficulty, and I think it depends on which character you are. Because things are randomized. Uh, the en where enemies are in this DLC is randomized, and item so some weapon pickups and items are. Uh, like, like I think if you played as Chris, sh I think Jill would get a shotgun. Uh, if you played as uh, if you play as Jill, I got the machine gun here. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think it depends on who you are and which difficulty you're on and stuff like that. Who character you are, so. Alright, here we go, our first reading document, which, which admittedly stretched my recording out a long time, so. Hopefully I don't take too long recording to, to read these again. Alright, Patrick's Memorias, uh, one. For a, for a time, it appeared as if Master Spencer would cover his, for his, recover his former health, but fate was not so kind. And now he confines himself to his study for days on end. It has been ages since I have seen him take his me meals in the dining hall. I have endured to prepare meals to his liking, and I bring them every day to his study. Unfortunately, he lacks the strength to eat anything but soup and other liquor liquids. I cannot recall a time in history of this household when the situation was as dire as now. In generations past, the Spencer estate was the nexus for only the most well-to-do European socialists. Now only a skeleton staff remains to look after a man who keeps himself in a virtual seclusion at one of his many residences. Yeah, so so this is a different... This is a, obviously not the same one, because we blew up the last one. <laughs> we blew up the last mansion. Uh, my, family has, my family has been in the Spencer's household service since the time of his great-grandfather. This rapid state of decline would have been unimaginable even just once, even just one generation prior. I remember finally in the days of my youth, but that seems like a lifetime ago now. It was about 50 years ago, back when my father was the head butler of the household. At that time, I was learning his duties and preparation to succeed him, and there was only, always some chore or errand that would keep me running around the house. I remember how Lord Ashford's another aristocrat from a, stor a storied family and one of Master Spencer's schoolmates, Dr. Marcus, would find refuge from the summer heat at this villa. My father and I would accompany them and do our utmost to see 
they wanted for nothing. Perhaps because our, I was the youngest person there, they would take to teasing me, though more often than not, they would treat me as one of them. I remember the time at Lord Ashford gave me my first taste of brandy. It was on the second floor of the dining hall, behind the stone statues, lining in the room. I'll never forget the, the malefilious scent when he opened the bottle, but those cherished mem times are only memories now. Lord Ashford's Dr. Marcus and... Ah, uh, so Dr. D yeah, Dr. Marcus, I just remembered, he's from Resident Evil Zero, I believe. Uh, so we got a Resident Evil Zero reference in here. And of course, my father have already passed on, only Master Spencer remains, and I'm afraid his days may be few. When Master Spencer dies, it will mark the end of his uh, uh, illustrious family, as well as my family's service to his. For now, I can only wait for the inevitable. inevitable. Uh, there's a note stuck between the last few pages. Ah, password. Nice. Um... So yeah, that, that was a lot to digest. Uh, got a lot of references in here. Yeah, I, I remember I talked about that in the last uh, version of this video too, about references. Uh, Resident Evil 5 has a... well, maybe not Resident Evil 5. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But Resident Evil... Um, Resident Evil Lost 5, Lost in Nightmares, the DLC, has a lot of... Uh, it has a lot of uh, references. It has my references right now, of course, of the mansion, the first game. Uh, of course, the areas feel very Resident Evil 1 -y. Uh, you have... People, you know, some notes talking about Resident Evil Zero, and, you know, basically things... Everything that's pretty much come before, um... You know, five, of course. So, I think they even make a reference to, if I'm not mistaken, to Reve uh, Revelations one and two, one and two. Uh, which, 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 I know two doesn't make sense because two didn't happen yet. But uh, th there's a slight, um, there's a slight reference to two. Uh, so here's the inventory. Uh, it's very different compared to, uh, what it was before, of course. Uh, now you have, you have nine slots now, which is tiny. You, you do have a sort of suitcase thing at the end of mission, of chapters and stuff, but, um, this is it, this is your inventory, and then you basically have a little bit more via your partner, so, so yeah. I got another document, Patrick, uh, Patrick's Memorials 2. Can I stop thinking about the screams of those poor souls in prison in the basement? I administer the virus to all of them as per Master Spencer's instructions one week ago. Whatever they become now, they are no longer human. I have assisted with multiple experiments at Master Spencer's behest. I do not know what what use a simple butler not schooled in the science such as myself can be, but I should be proud that the Master trusts me with his important work. He usually has nothing but contempt or distrust for those around him. However, I cannot help but feel a disconnect between how I think I should feel and my actual mental state. On the one hand, I am filled with joy at the chance to assist the master in any way I can. On the other hand, I feel as if I am losing a bit of my soul with each experiment I assist with. The only way I can preserve my mental facilities is by taking time off or trying to divorce myself from all motion. Whatever the case, I must act and not question the master. Duty and honor, that is what it's at stake. For generations, my family has been in loyal service to the Spencer household. I will not betray my duties, and I will serve Master Spencer until the end. I've dedicated my life to serving him, and there is no turning back, turning my back on him. It is time to check on the subjects. The test subjects are important on their current conditions and Master Spencer. I will carry out my duties, and I will do so honorably. All right, so Alfred, uh, Alfred's a real uh, helper, let me tell you. Moonlight Sonata. I remember the last time I played this. Think you can still play it? You mean right now? I don't know. It's been a while. All right. So here's the quick time event. Uh, I I did really good in the last video. So uh, let me see if I can actually do it again here. So when I played on the PS3 by myself, I did not do so well. But I played on higher difficulty, so maybe that was part of it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Better not get copyrighted for this shit. Because it was kind of funny, I went and I looked at my Deadpool uh, video recently, and I got a copyright claim for it. And I was like, what the hell was the copyright claim for? Uh, apparently, they're that crazy song that she... Oh, fuck, I fucked it up. But apparently that crazy song in uh, in Deadpool was voice... Like, the they had the actual lady, like, singing it. They must have took, like, the recording of the voice or whatever. 
Uh, and that gave me a copyright. And I was like, really, guys? You couldn't just have the, the main character sing it or something? Alright. Whatever. But, but let's get back to this. I fucked it up. Let's try again. It was because I was talking. I should have just, you know... I should have just played it. Let you guys enjoy the music. That may or may not get me copyrighted again. I don't think you get copyrighted. I think Moon Knight Sonara, Sonara is their thing, or is it not? I don't know. I'm not a musician, okay? I, I mean, I sing sometimes, but, you know, I'm not a big whatever. By the way, Chris could shoot that red dot on the wall. This is a red dot over there. He could just shoot it. But he's not going to, apparently. He's going to wait for me to finish the song. Thank you, Chris. Jeez. Yeah, this yellow yeah, red dot right there, you could shot. Whatever, Chris! Make life harder for me, that's fine. It wasn't that bad. So the quick time event's not that bad. But there are quick time events in this game later on that are really, really annoying. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so when I played this game last time, there was an enemy here. Apparently the enemy is not here. Like I said, it's ran it's a little bit randomized, but who knows? He could appear. Uh, he could appear in the hallway here. Yup, there he is. I see him. I see him. He's right there. Holy shit! <laughs> it just got some kicks in. Run, Chris! Run! but that's okay. Oh my god, I'm nice. Jeez, thank you, Chris. Eh, he's, he's, it's that, eh, that's a little awkward, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, when I played this game, uh, when I played this game last time when I recorded it, I did say that there were, that there seemed like there was a lot more bugs or like glitches on the P the PC version of this game because I'm pl of course I'm playing this on the PC version right now. Um, that's why the quality and the and the audio is much better. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I was playing this uh, like the la the last the last video recording I did of this. It, there was like a lot of glitches and like there were like characters that are getting stuck on the walls. And it was, it was really weird. Um, I, right now you don't see a lot of that, which is good, but we might see that later in a later section of this game. So hopefully it's not a, it's not a big, it's not as bad as it was last time. Alright, got another document here. Looks like pages from a diary, some entries are missing. Uh, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Alice with, with, from security. And Steve from research, Steve was the big winner, and I, but I think he was cheating, that scumbag. May 10th, 1998, one of the higher-ups assigned to me take care of a new creature. It looked like a, a skinned gorilla to me. Scott said that there were an accident in the basement lab. I just know something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, not even on holidays. May 12th, 1998, I've been wearing this damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting gr grismy, grimy and feels itchy all over. May 16th, 1998, a rumor is going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels so hot and icky, I'm, wearing, I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? You might want us to have a doctor look at that, buddy. <laughs> uh, May 19th, 1998, 99, 98. Uh, fever gone, itchy, today hungry, uh, and eat dog, doggy food, it, uh, itchy tasty uh there's a note stuck between the last few pages so yeah that was that was another reference to uh the first game the itchy tasty uh again it, like there's a lot of references in this and people are gonna either may or may not like that i said this in the last time last um 
I said this in the last recording of this I did. Uh, people may or may not like that. They may or may not like, uh, all of the references in this, and that's because there's a lot, and, and it, you didn't, like, I personally feel like that itchy, tasty one was a bit much. Like, really? You wanted to, you wanted to do itchy, tasty again? Like, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little too much, admittedly, but the references are admittedly a little too much, but I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much, but, but, but that one is admittedly, like, really noticeable. Scary thunder. Ah, a bat! Alright, so there is a uh, library in this room, and there's a lot of reading. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the last password, and then we're gonna go in there. But I don't wanna do that yet. Oh, look, a bunch of mines. I'll just take these. Put the gun right there for now. Um, hmm, you know what? Um, here, I'm gonna give you this, Chris. Much appreciated. Don't you take my grenades, Chris. I want them. These are for me. Like, okay, yeah, because last time I think he took the mine, which is funny. Like, what are you gonna do with the mine, Chris? Oh, there's a sniper rifle here. Um, here, do I want to give him the shotgun? Here, I'll give you the shotgun. Thanks for the help. And then I'll take the rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A heat-sensitive paper. Alright. If you hear my dog barking in the background, I apologize for that. I thought there was an enemy around here. Alright, so let's go let's go back to the fireplace and we'll keep this note note up. And then we'll go into that room and uh I, I got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> so uh I don't know, I mean how how do you guys feel about me reading? Is that a big deal or no? I don't, got that. I don't have a problem with reading, but when I have to read a lot, I get annoyed a bit, honestly. Alright, bring the paper. Let's get a nice look, boys. Alright, got the password, too. Alright, so let's go read, then. Let's go, let's go to the library and read a bunch of books. Let's read every book in this library, because that's... That, 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 uh, that, maybe the librarian will, will give me free access, I don't know. Get a lifetime membership. This lock is child's play. Of course it's child's play for you, Jill, the master of unlocking. Well, Chris gets a nice look, too. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, there. I think there's four, like four or five in here. Oh, Jesus! All right, well, here we go. Spencer's memories. One, uh, I, Oswald E. Spencer, founder of Umbrella, as well as its chief executive officer, hereby proclaim myself as a ruler of all mankind. Everyone shall prost prostrate themselves before me as they once did for the ancient false gods. Wow, what a dickhead. At least that's what my destiny should have been. But I did not become a god. I could not serve my ties to my own weak humanity. Instead, my body is being destroyed by this damn disease. The, a the disease of age it has carved wrinkles in my face like a well-weathered crayon, and my arms are like the thin, withered branches of a dying tree. Age has even deprived me of the use of my legs. The only chance I'll ever have of becoming a god and shaping humanity's destiny is to stop this disease from continuing to ravage my body. I believe there's a saying about realizing the joys of life when one is at death's doorstep. Sayings like that, sayings like that are, are for the weak who are going to die. They attempt to mask their fears with pit, pit, pity and amphorism. Sisms, mortals can't comprehend what life means for those whose death is not a concern. The ignorant are fond of making generations to include those who 
would not be party to their pedantic musings. I will undo this unjust travesty done to me by, by, by time, and I will present myself as the perfect being that will rule over all mankind. I will give them a new set of commandments to govern their lives. Oh my god. All that remains is to find the key to eternal life. The virus manufactured by Umbrella is that key. It suppresses the, ter term the terminal shortening which negates the function that limits cell division somewhere in that proceed process is the key to immortality. If the pro process could be perfected, that key would be mine. I have the means available to me. I can realize my ambitions. Thanks to Alex, I lost. So Alex, Alex Wesker, uh, you know more about her if I play Revelations 2. Uh, I lost much in the capital, uh, human capital uh, following Umbrella's bankruptcy, but I still have elect Alex, the best and brightest of them all, and the last of my children. I have faith that if anyone can find a cure for the ailment of time that keeps me from amusing my role as the head of mankind, it is Alex. Alex will find a way. Okay, so so y you don't even need me to say this, but Spencer's kind of a dickhead. He's kind of a dickhead. thinks thinks he him thinks of himself as a god. Uh, it's probably why God is making him suffer right now. <laughs> but whatever. All right, Spencer's memories too. I've done every, everything Alex has asked of me. Alex's ingenuity far surpasses those of normal people. We wait for the appropriate time to gather necessary materials, and Alex continues to keep the operation running smoothly. Most children are held back by the limits of their own intellect, but not so with Alex. I've never witnessed anyone so adept at absorbing the talents of others simply by observing them. I cannot be born pleased. Alex displays superior qualities to everyone else. I have provided everything Alex and the other researchers would need to conduct the research. Unlimited funding, top-of-the-line equipment, research materials, and an un endless supply of test subjects. The only thing wanting is time. They will conduct their research on an isolated island in the South Seas that is home to an abandoned military installation from a nearby country. So this, so this is the reference to Revelations 2. This is obviously referencing before the events take place, but this is referencing that game. Alex has already gone there with a, with a group of research uh, assistants, research materials, and hundreds of test subjects. I waited in earnest of good tidings of good of their research. Instead, I received only a phone call a month later asking me to send more test subjects. How was it possible that they had gone through hundreds of test subjects in only a month? As my frustration rose, Alex attempted to reassure me. You'll be pleased to hear that all experiments are running smoothly, and so I continue to wait. But yeah, that that was basically a full-on Revelation 2 reference. Alright, Spencer, Spencer's mem mem Memorials 3. Uh, I've waited and waited and still no word from the island. It's been a year since they left, and I've sent thousands upon thousands of test subjects for the research. As soon as Alex makes an improvement to the virus, the TED team and minister ministries it to another batch of test subjects. Unfortunately, they do not have time to study the virus before testing it. If it looks feasible, they proceed forward and see how the test subjects react to it. All this is to be expected, I suppose. It's not Alex's fault. I have been impatient, true, but the situation is dire. Age has not only worn down this worthless shell, but it has also attacked my internal organs, uh, rendered many of them virtually useless. What little functionality I can out of them is only thanks to the machines attached to my body. Time is a merciless end. I'm counting on you, Alex. Only you can give me the key to eternal life. You know, maybe if you, I don't know, read some books about the idea of your body being a temple, maybe you take care of yourself better, asshole. Spencer's Memorials 4. Uh, finally, a report of success. The experiment was a success. The news alone has sent a surge of energy of surge of new energy coursing through my veins. I feel rejuvenated. Last night's dinner even tasted sweeter. The wine was more excellent. My butler, Patrick, is truly a culinary savant. Unfortunately, the joy was short-lived. Alex has disappeared. I would be con less concerned if that were the only regret re regrettable report from the island. The other researchers are also nowhere to be found, neither one of the thousands of test subjects, and most importantly, all the research materials, including the final virus that was to make me a god, cannot be located. I have been betrayed. I have allowed myself to be betrayed again. I should have learned from my mistake with Albert. Uh, now my life stands on the edge of a knife. The only person I can trust is my loyal butler, Patrick. He is my last hope in locating the virus that will cure me of this wretched ailment. 
But is, is, is time on my side? That is the question that pre preoccupies my mind. The only, the only, and only the God I am to become can answer that question. God, man, you just are such a fucking freak-ass motherfucker. But there you go, got Albert Wesker uh, being mentioned, that's awesome. And passwords. Okay, Patrick's Memorials 3. I've been in the Master Spencer's employee for the majority of my adult life. As of late, however, I find his actions to be inscrutable. For, examples, he ha for example, he has taken every possible precaution to conceal his whereabouts, but from the outside world, for what reason, I do not know. Then one day he asked me to find a certain man and make him aware of the master's whereabouts. I do not know why he would go to such lengths to contact this man, but perhaps he wanted to see if someone could find him. The man, the man in question is one of Mr. Albert Wesker, a name I have not heard in quite a long time. I only met him once, and that was over ten years ago. I'm ashamed to admit that I cannot recall his face, because as head butler, it's my job to remember people. The only reason I... The only reason I believe is to become because of his eyes, those cold, unfeeling eyes that completely overshadowed his other features. At any rate, I have endeavored to get the information into Wesker's hands without letting on that it was Master Spencer's desire that he have that information. I know of a certain unscrupulous individual who could put that information on the streets for the right price. He is the kind that does not care who he talks to. What made the individual I found of such importance is that he is in the the employee of a female spy who has irregular dealings with Wesker. Ah, so got an Ada Wong reference here too. I paid this man, I forget if his name was Robert, Roberto or Rich Ricardo. More importantly, he deserved and gave him the bare minimum of information necessary to fulfill Master Spencer's wishes. I dutifully carried out Master Spencer's directions to the letter. It was at this point that the situation took an even more cryptic turn. The master, he let me go, but I do not know why. I asked him for a reason, the only time I have ever questioned him, but he responded with only silence. I do not know what to do now. I'm filled with a sense of loss. Everything I have ever known is gone. I dedicated my entire life to serving the Spencer household, and now that book has been forcibly closed for no apparent reason. The only ones who remain will be those untrustworthy security guards and the people in prison below. Premises, I, I truly doubt the guard's ability to attend to all of Master Spencer's needs. Could it be that he plans on dying? No, he is not that type of man. He would not want to leave all his affairs in, in such an unfinished state. Master Spencer has some grand machine, 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 it, sheesh, what the fuck am I saying? At that work are beyond my ability to comprehend. At any rate, I can only uh, I can only obey his wishes and take my leave. I will be loyal until the end, even if it breaks my heart to do so. There's another file here. It looks like a list. Looks like to be a list of test subjects. Okay, Hans, Felicia, Marco, Jonah, Emma, Ken, Laura, William, Hero, Deck, Derek, Miles, ugh. Uh, Alex, Albert. So, ooh, so these are the thirteen. Uh, okay. The number of candidates has been limited to 13 in the individuals listed, abo listed above. Okay. That's cool. Ah, a secret door. Um, ah, oh, so that was a lot of reading. Uh, thank God I don't have to read no more. I'm pretty confident that that was it. Pretty sure that was it. Yes, I think that was it. So, alright, we have a Scooby-Doo trap, it looks like. Yep, yes it is. Ah, shit. Hold on, Chris, I'll save you! Reload! Shit, the trap! We gotta shut it off. I kinda like the first person camera perspective. It's locked from the inside. Get back! I wanna shoot the lock! It's open! What a dumb skibidi trap this was. Thanks. Let's hope all the rooms aren't rigged like this. Yeah. All right. All right. So I gotta be careful. There may or may not be a guy that pops up. There may or may not.
yeah, the camera is really far back right now. Okay. Just checking my corners. I want to get jumped. I do not want to get Machine gun ammo. Are you serious? Chris, you know what? Here you go. Thanks for the help. Thanks. You can have bullets. Because I want these bullets. Now hand them back. <laughs> Alright. Um, now nah, he can have them. That's square crank. Alright. So now we can finally get out of this, this mansion. I thought I was going to get jumped again. I guess not. Alright, that's fine. Fine by me, you know? This is the last thing I need. I, I already got to deal with the shit ton of them anyway, you know? I'm not going to move through that shit. You got it, Chris. We're good to go. You, you, you'll probably see me give hand bullets a lot to like, well, to, to like Sheva when, when we finally get to her. Cause uh, I, I do that a lot when I play by myself. I'll just like hand her handgun bullets. What is that smell? Cause the AI likes handgun bullets a lot. But I hope we don't run into whatever's making it. And when have we ever been that lucky? Alright. Oh god. So now we're in like a prison area, it looks like. That's my bullets, that's nice. Fine by me. I do have my computer unplugged right now, so... Um, hopefully I don't have to plug it back in, because... I'm trying to see if unplugging my computer, yeah, it's kind of lagging a bit. I'm trying to see if I'm com unplugging my computer is the reason why my audio is let was like just kind of like disappeared in like re the recording or whatever. If it doesn't, then I know that it's the re this thing that I'm using to record is. So I'm testing things out. This is also a test. Oh shit! I saw some. Chris did too. Like, did, did you see, did, like, are we imagining things, Chris? Did we see the same thing? Like, yeah, I saw him too. No. What? For, Chris, you freaked me out. I thought the sound, well, the, the music freaked me out too, but Chris freaked me out too. Alright, be careful, because he might be around the corner here. <gasps> I see him! I see him! Get out of my way! Yeah, get out of the way, bitch! This thing doesn't know when to quit! Come on, bitch. Step on it. Sit and kicking you in the face. Bye, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> okay, seriously, how many, how many, how many bullets does it take? He took all my inventory. I got stuck on the wall there for a second. That was my fault. Okay. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> ah, what just happened? 
happened? Thanks for the help. Like he got up as I did that, which is funny. Yeah, so I hear my fan. Again, it's not plugged in. It's not on performance mode either. Yeah, it's lagging because it's not plugged in. Because I think it's on like battery life mode or something. My computer can handle it, you know? Oh, uh, fuck. Come on, you can, I got some for you. Okay. Now, normally your AI would help you too, but Chris is kind of like... Okay, I don't care though. Again, this is a test. I am testing to see if this works. What? Where? Where a bad guy? Oh god! <laughs> That's fine. I did the other thing first, that's fine. Machine gun ammo. Gotta hurry up a little bit, because I don't want my computer to die on me. I don't think it will, but again, I'm, I'm worried about that audio. Well, I don't know by the time that I finish this, and I edit it and stuff. Which again, I'm hoping that it's not a huge problem, but... Never know. Maybe it is my record. Maybe it is the thing I'm using to record. If it is, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be really upset. Because I've done this before. This isn't, you know, new. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, you know what? I have decided that we're not gonna fight him. We are just going to get what we need to leave. I think there are also two of them. Oh, shit! Fuck! Don't know! I'm boxed in! Chris, run! I almost died! I almost died! I almost died! What is wrong with me? Don't ever do what I just did. That was so dumb. Don't ever do what I just did. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Come on, let's go. Because they could have easily killed us. Ah! And now I have nothing! <laughs> <laughs> what was the point? Jill, are you okay? I'm fine, but I lost most of my gear. Same here. 
up here. Alright, try to find a way out of there, and I'll find a way to meet up with you. Copy that. Watch your back. Alright, so now we're on the stealth section of the game. Or, or the stealth section of this DLC, I should say. Um, this is, uh, uh, th this is weird. It's a weird one, but I kind of like it. I understand how it works. Uh, you guys should too later as I play it, but, uh, it's a little weird, Lindsay. Okay, so I have to be careful. I don't want to get seen by him yet. So what you have to do is we have to kill them and take their pieces, because they have these pieces at the door they're basically guarding. Uh, but we have to use the thing- but thankfully there are Scooby-Doo traps around that will help me, uh, to win. Now I have to wait for that guy to turn around. Okay. Go. Chris! Okay! I got a plan. We'll use this. You got a plan? Chris! I'm ready here. Draw him in. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one little thing here, so... Yes, Chris is invincible when he is doing that, so don't worry. Wow, he didn't see me either, wow. He didn't see Chris? Like, yeah, Chris is invincible, like, invisible right now. Yeah, he can't see Chris. I guess because otherwise, you know, it would kind of be shitty if you could see him, but... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Hey, you. Fuck your mom. Oh shit! <laughs> He's pissed about it! Uh oh. Oh no! I'm stuck! What am I gonna do? Chris! Chris! Oh no! <laughs> Dead. Glad that's over. He's like, oh no! <laughs> like, what? Alright, so we gotta, do, we gotta kill two more of them. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So I have to get the other crank. It's over here. There's two more cranks to do. You can do five, because I think on professional you, you need to do five, maybe, or four. I forgot. Kind of funny, but I just played it. So, for last night, I should say. Got the red crank. Okay, okay. Thanks for the help. Fucking zombie just jumps Chris. All right. I don't know why I'm I'm like stalking this dude right now. I guess because I just don't want to go through the same path twice. So. I probably inevitably will do. I don't know why I'm sitting here all worried about that or nothing. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, did I just... Oh, I can go up there. Here we go. Nice. Alright, Violet. Violet. Flashbang. Uh, so these flashbangs do have a purpose uh, for this stealth thing. I did not know what it was until uh, until I was forced to do it. So basically, what this is for. Oh, I didn't get an egg for that. Ah, oh, it's annoying. So, so basically, what this is for is if they try to resist the Scooby Doo trap, uh, you're supposed to throw that throw this at their face, and then they they die. That that's what you're supposed to do with this. So, pretty simple enough, right? Uh, Alright, Chris, let's get him. Chris! Roger! I'm ready here. Draw him in, just be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't resist! 
Got there is a snake in there. That's fine. I got an egg though. Eggs. Uh, if you eat eggs, they're story health. Uh, not, not. They're kind of like. They're kind of like less than herbs. But, but you can get really good eggs. Like there's brown eggs. There's brown eggs uh, give you a lot of health. I think they give you pretty much full health. Um, is he stuck on the wall again? I think he might be. Yup, he's stuck on the fuck. Oh god, he did this. Uh, he's a little close. Hey! Chris! Oh no! Now what do I do? <laughs> Glad that's over. I shouldn't have worn this hood on my head. Maybe I would have looked up. Alright, so now I just gotta do one more. Uh, I gotta lure him to the red one. Well, I don't have to. I think I can just get the, uh... The green one. Ah! Get your hands off me! What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can, I can just use the green one. I like the I like using the red one though because it's like right there, you know. So I guess I guess we're doing the green one. Maybe we we can do the green one, and I can do the. I'll just put it in, you know. It, it's just. I'll just put it in. Alright, so let me kinda... Get this Chris! Okay! Alright, Chris, go for it. I'm right here. Draw him in. Just be careful. First aid spray. These are for later. <laughs> just so you know. These are for later. They're not for now. They're, they're for later. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh my god, be treacherous, get my feet. Just gotta wait. What's he doing? Why did he go backwards? Oh no, my PC's low. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to plug it in now. So, hopefully, this does not ruin my audio. All right, it's plugged in now. It means that the performance has gone up. Let's hope it doesn't ruin the audio. If it ruins the audio, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey! Oh no, you're so scary! What am I gonna do? Chris. I'm trapped! Chris! Oh, that's so smushed. Glad that's over. Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay! So, uh... Yes, the audio went out. <laughs> Uh, cause you can tell because of the image, it, scenery change that it got really late outside. Uh, this took me about, like, an hour or two to fucking come back here and record ten more minutes! Ten more minutes of this, but, uh, I'm back now to record the last, like, ten minutes roughly of this, so. Uh, I checked it, we, we were at, like, the fifty minute mark, so. Much, much shorter than the last video was, so, yeah. Alright, we're good to go. So yeah, I finally have figured out what my audio problem is. Apparently if I plug my computer in while I'm recording, that's why the audio kept going out. So now I understand why it's doing that now. So I either need to plug it in before I start recording, or I need to uh, not or make these videos shorter. I need to pick something. So I can't plug it, I can't, I can't, it's not like my live stream, I can't plug it in while I'm, you know, recording it. So, yeah. At least we know now. At least we know what the problem is. It took me a few months, it took me a while, but I finally have figured it out, so I'm very happy about that. You probably noticed my chicken, again, my chicken, my egg, my chicken egg is gone, because, again, I had to redo this whole thing. Um, so, yeah. And don't worry, uh, I saved 
what you, of course, what you saw the last, fi you know, the last 50 minutes was, was genuine, uh, but this is me going back fixing my last 10 minutes, so. So yeah, here we go. Very, very tempted to give Chris the, the first aid. I'm not going to, though. Pick it up. Roger. Pick up the gun, Chris. Why do you, why do you need my permission? Just pick it up already. All right, here I'm gonna shut up because apparently I'm I'm very I'm the the loudness kind of blocks my voice out, so I'm just gonna kind of I'll talk about this whole scene when we're done, and I'll wrap up the video. Wesker. Okay, here we go. Get as many bullets as I can. Leave him alone. All right, now I'm gonna fight him. All right, let's go, you. You can be. He was gonna fucking kill him! Got you, bitch! Okay, I shot him a little bit. That bet that hurt, didn't it? Ignorant of ratings! Bitch ass motherfucker. Who are you? Get out, Bayonetta! I expected more yeah. from you.
Jill! Oh! <laughs> well! Jill's dead! <laughs> oh no! Jill's dead! Uh, aw, oh, my fucking... My... Well, I still got the S. I got the S in both, um... In both recordings. Um... Yay! Um... Okay! That sucks. Jill, Jill, Jill just died, it looks like. So, and maybe Wesker? Wesker's dead too? So, um... So yeah, uh, you'll probably notice that the time says 29 minutes. That's not true. This was really like an hour. You'll, you'll note it. You'll, you know, obviously. You watch the video if you, if you get to this part, but, um... Yeah, that boss fight is, uh... It, it's, it's just kinda... It's shitty, because it's like, you know, you shoot him... And he just dodges the bullets. Uh, the only only time he's not dodging the bullets is when he's in the middle of a combo or when he's doing a special animation. Um, but more or less, you're usually trying to help your AI or your co-op partner uh, to get out of that situation because he can kill you pretty easily if you're not careful. But um, I remember that boss fight being challenging. But going back and playing this fight, I mean, it's just kind of it's just kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's shitty because it's like, man, you're such a cheap fight. He really is a cheap fight, but, um, but yeah, that's a good place to stop. We're gonna start Resident Evil 5, uh, next week, the official, the full game. Um, there will be another DLC, uh, that I will be playing, the Desperate Escape DLC, uh, but I won't, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that co-op or if I'm gonna do that again, uh, by myself. Uh, so, so far it should be either about three or four by myself, and maybe about three or four with the other, everyone else, so, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out with the co-op, but, um, until then, guys, thank you guys for watching, I'm out of here, up, up, and away, see you guys.